Madam Ambassador, the foreign ministers of Armenia and Turkey are expected to sign the Armenia-Turkish Turkey Protocol on normalizing the bilateral relations in Switzerland tomorrow. What do you think? What will follow uh, th that? And uh, can we say that signing of these protocols after that, the course of normalization will be uh, irreversible? Well, I think that tomorrow um, uh, the um, the signing of the protocols is a very, very important step. Um, I think that you know last year um, it was about a year ago when uh, President Gu came here at President Sarkisian's invitation uh, to watch the soccer game, and um, I don't think anybody at that time would have predicted that um, one year later this is where we are. That uh, Turkey and Armenia are prepared to move forward with signing uh, the protocols regarding normalization, regarding opening the border, um, and I. I think that's a very, very significant step forward. Um, it's, I think, critical for for the entire region, for, for Turkey and, and also for Armenia, um, to be able to open the border, to have commerce um, across that border, um, and to um, so that so that Armenia is opened up to to worldwide commerce. Uh, and I think it's also uh, vital for Armenia's security to open that border. Uh, was the a reasonable time frame mentioned in protocols? Uh, it's uh, several weeks, several months. What's the time frame? Well, you know, that, that's a good question. Um, I think, you know, if you look at the history of international agreements, uh, uh, ratification generally take, takes a while. Uh, that's certainly true in the United States. Uh, and, um, and so I, I think that as, as we move forward, what the United States has said is that we expect this to move forward in a reasonable time frame. But that hasn't been defined, you know, whether it's, uh, you know, ex exactly how, how long that would be. Um, but reasonable time frame, as my, my boss, Assistant Secretary Phil Gordon, has said means reasonable time frame. We we um, we very much look forward to um, to uh, the ratification and then implementation of the agreement. Uh, State Secretary Clinton will attend. Uh, uh, does sure. it mean that uh, United States attaches importance to this? Event? The U.S. attaches a great deal of importance to uh, to normalization of relations between Turkey and, and, and Armenia. And um, we have tried to be supportive throughout the negotiation process. The Swiss, of course, are the mediators, uh, but we have tried to, to be supportive when uh, when uh, when uh, some of the one of the parties called on us uh, to uh, to to help move the process forward. And um, you know, the secretary is going to be attending, and, and that's another sign of our support. And we hope to be supportive um, moving forward. This could be, in our view at least, transformational for the region. Uh, you know, the so-called frozen conflicts, um, and one could say that the, the closed border between Turkey and Armenia is, is a sort of a frozen conflict. It's important to, uh, to move forward and resolve those conflicts uh, for the security of the region, um, but also for the well-being of the people. Uh, because Armenia, which has two of four borders closed, to open one of those borders, that would be um, potentially, again, I've used this word uh, probably more than once already, but transformational for Armenia in terms of the opportunities um, that, that it provides. Transportation costs, as you probably know, are 25 percent of, of, of the cost of goods. So um, with um, more, uh, more uh, border openings to Turkey, direct transportation back and forth, transportation costs will go down. Prices for, for, for Armenian consumers here will go down as a result. Um, I think that there are going to be greater opportunities for, uh, for employment for, um, for Armenians, not only in Turkey, but right here in Armenia, because foreign direct investment will go up as well. I think that investors, whether they're Armenian, whether they're Turkish, whether they are from a third country like the United States, they're, not, they're going to look at Armenia not as a, uh, as a market of uh, three million people. They're going to look at Armenia as a market of, you know, 70 to 80 million. Turkey, Georgia, Armenia, and so I think all of the opportunities um, blossom. Region. Yeah, mm. yeah, and for Armenia. Uh, public discussions on these protocols have shown that there is some opposition uh, <laughs> to their signing, both in Armenia and its worldwide uh, mm -hmm. diaspora. What do you think? How justified is it to sign the protocols in conditions of such a response? Uh, and uh, isn't there a danger that signed protocols might not get implementation in the future? 
Um, well, those are two, two very good questions. Let me take the first one first. Um, in, in terms of the uh, very vigorous uh, debate that has surrounded this issue, there's no question that uh, this is a controversial issue. Uh, it is a bold foreign policy move, um, both by President Sarkisian and the Turkish leadership. And therefore, I think it's, it's natural, uh, and it would certainly happen in the United States, uh, that, that there's a lot of discussion about this and that they're going to be very strong views both for and against. And I think what we've seen um, on TV uh, and, you know, in the blogs and, and newspapers over over the last uh, sort of uh, couple of weeks um, is, is an example of that. But I think there are also many people, or at least many people that I've spoken with, who are very much in favor of the protocols, in favor of normalization. That doesn't mean that they think that every um, every word is perfect, um, but they think that the general trend is is a positive one. Mm -hmm. And I think I think that's important to remember. Mm -hmm. And I've forgotten what the second question was. Uh, a considerable part of concern voiced in Armenian diaspora uh, regards a possible regression, of even a halt in the process of international recognition of Armenian genocide. Uh, the matter in particular concerns the Joint Committee. Uh, mm -hmm. historical joint Historical issues, Subcommittee. Yeah, historical Committee. Uh, what do you think? Are the concerns voiced on this account justified? Well, I think that um that uh, you know clearly there, there's there's a lot of concern about this issue. This is an important issue for Armenians everywhere in the world, and I think it's an important issue for Turkey as well. And I think that what we've seen over over the past um, past year or so since uh, since we've been talking about normalization is that 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 this issue of of history and the past, what happened in 1915, the Medzikir, um has uh, received much more attention not only here and, and in other places well, in the world, but also in Turkey, and I think that that um, that that is going to be an inevitable byproduct of normalization. Right now, Turks and Armenians they do have some contact, but they don't have a great deal of contact, and so that means that there's um, perhaps misconceptions, uh, misunderstandings, and I think that when you get people together and they are able to do business together, when they're able to talk about their families, um, when they have normal normal relations as a result of normalization, um, they are also able maybe to discuss some of the more difficult issues that are that are in front of them as well. And so it's it's the view of US leaders, it's the, the um, uh, US government position that this, this will help in this process. Mm -hmm. uh, despite the fact that uh, OSC meets group co-chairman and also Armenian authorities have stated several times that uh, Armenian-Turkish normal normalization process and uh, Karabakh settlement processes are independent not interlinked, but uh, concerns in Armenia remain that Turkey links that process, two processes, mm -hmm. can you say, on, on mm -hmm. this mm -hmm. respect? Mm -hmm. well, as you probably know, the U.S. government position is, is that, um, that the processes are, are, are not linked. Um, that, and um, that there should be no preconditions to moving forward mm -hmm. with normalization. <coughs> and um, we have stated that repeatedly. Most recently, Secretary of State Hillary Clinton said that two weeks ago um, on, um, on, um, during the UNGA, uh, the UN General Assembly meetings in, in, in New York. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, I've lost my train of thought. Um, the uh, about that the two processes yeah. are not yeah, sorry. connected. Um. You know, I, I, you know, our, 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 um, our view on that issue is very clear. Um, I also understand why um, some of the critics of the protocols are concerned that there, uh, that there may somehow be be linkage, even though there is nothing in in the protocols. Um, however, I think that it's not only Turkey that has um, a voice on this issue; it's Armenia as well. And President Sarkisian has been crystal clear that there is no linkage between these two issues. Now, um, you know, it clearly, um, he, he also said um, recently in an interview that, um, you know, generally resolving issues in the region, whether it's Nagorno-Karabakh or, or, or other issues, is, is helpful. Um, and so I think that as Armenia moves forward, both in, in it's terms... It's helpful, but it's not crucial. It's, it's helpful. Mm -hmm. It's helpful um, uh, to uh, move forward on Nagorno-Karabakh. Mm -hmm. This is in Armenia's interest. Um, it's helpful for Armenia to move forward on normalization. And um, I think President Sarkisian has made very, very clear